Tess has certainly helped him do that. Um, you know, winning trophies, winning the Champions League, bringing the Premier League back after 30 years, lifting them trophies has certainly put him in that bracket. He's going to have to go a long way, I think, to take the number one spot off Steven Gerrard or Kenny Daglish, whoever your favourite may be. But he's certainly playing himself into the top ten greatest Liverpool players. Talking of attitude and the way you approach the game, I remember once speaking to a, a lad who was at the Sunderland Academy with Jordan. I said, what was, what was he like? And he told me a little story. He said, you know, we were 16 and on a Saturday night sometimes we used to sort of sneak out and have, have the odd beer. And, oh, with, with Jordan, so not with Jordan. Jordan would come for an hour, he'd drive, he'd have a water and he'd go home. And that's the difference, isn't it? Well, you know, often you talk about the marginal gains, which makes a good player into a great player. Or, or we ask you guys, how did you make it as a footballer? Well, it's little things like that, isn't it? It's sacrifice. It's sacrifice, but it's a, it's a mental ability to say, I'm not going out, I'm not going to have a drink. I believe that I'm going to be a professional footballer and I'm going to play at the very highest level I can. And I think he's taken that on, you know, hates, hates losing six asides, eight asides, Champions League finals, whatever it is, hates losing. I think James Milner is exactly the same. I think Van Dijk is probably exactly the same, although I don't know. But they're winners. And when I came to Liverpool, all those players are the same. But we used to be able to go out and have a beer because they were winning <laughs> every wine, week anyway. A gin, yeah, a drum yeah. Yeah, Whatever it was. Yeah. But you know, the game's changed and uh, you can't do that anymore. But I think uh, in the dressing room, I think Jordan just epitomises the... You know the modern-day footballer who wants to be determined to win things, and you can enjoy after the after you finish playing. You can go those mad things you want to do, but when you're at the very highest level, you want to stay there as long as possible at the best club possible. I think as well, Rob. I think that modern-day managing. I've said it before. Modern-day manager now, you can't go into a dressing room and point fingers at individuals. You've got to. I think you've got to do it collectively. It's it's you know if you want to give out, you've got to do it collectively. It's a team that loses. You know, back in our day, you know. You were you were called out, weren't you? You were called out individually, and you had to stand on your own two feet. It was a it was a tough dressing room, and you had to put your performances right, otherwise the manager would would point a finger at you. And I think I don't think the modern manager can do that. And I don't think Jurgen can do that. I don't think he's the kind of manager to do that. But he needs people in the dressing room who who do do that. You know, and you see Jordan Henderson on the pitch. It's not picking on players. It's not bullying players. It's just demanding. Roy Keane had it. Patrick Vieira had it. I played for Roy. You know, they demanded the best from you. They pointed fingers and they asked you questions. And I think Jordan does that. And it's a, it's allowed if you're a teammate or a captain. You're allowed to do it. It's acceptable. It's not acceptable to, to, to be a manager and do it. But it's also that fine line, Nigel, as well, when Jason talks about calling out players as a captain or what you do and how you are as a captain. I remember speaking to Jordan before the, the game at the Etihad earlier in the season. I said, go on, take me into the, the dressing room at 20 past four on that Sunday afternoon. What do you do? Because everyone has this idea that a captain like Jordan will stand there and give this big Churchillian speech. And he says, well, no, I'm, they're all trustworthy guys. Like, I don't need to say a lot because I believe in all of my teammates as well. Yeah, they believe in their captain. They believe in their teammates as well. But it's how you prepare for those big games, how you mentally get yourself ready, you're physically ready, you go out. But you have that winning mentality. And that's what football and winning trophies is all about, having a winning mentality mentality individually but as a group and that comes from the manager that comes from the captain but really when you get out on the field it's about giving encouragement at the right times it's about saying hey give it easy next time don't give the ball away and and getting the best out of your fellow uh, players around you but I think sometimes players lead by example captains lead by example rather than shouting at people and I think that's what Jordan does so well well we'll speak about the other man who leads the team so well James Milner in just a moment but let's said back out and about and back to Becky yeah I've got a couple more fans here on Queen's Drive just outside the Navigator pub in West Star we've got Lewis and Phil with me how excited are you Lewis very excited all, all the horns are going off I bet you've been looking forward to this for a few weeks yeah what about your dad you looking forward to it as well again? oh yeah of course yeah I love when when we have the parades yeah so I'm looking forward to this one even though it's not 100% the best, but, well, you know, never mind. In, in terms of the season, though, it's been an incredible season. You really should be celebrating these achievements. Two Cups, which one are you looking forward to seeing today? FA Cup. The FA Cup. And what about players? <laughs> like what? What players are you looking forward to, to seeing? Um, Thiago, Trent, uh, Jota, Salah, all of them. All of them, basically. What about yourself? All of them, yeah. Just uh, delighted that we've had a good season and um, hopefully we can bring it on to the next season as well.